Hi, math students. Let's begin math today by counting together up to 100 using our fun song. Count along. Come on, kids. Do you want to count to 100? Count, 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 count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm so proud of your hard work right there. Let's go ahead and do a cheese grater. Ready? Here we go. You're great. Nice hard work. So our learning target today, which will guide our learning in math, is right here on the screen. It says, I can identify shapes that are divided into halves. Let's go ahead and unpack this learning target. We're going to be identifying. When you identify something, you name it um, kind of by saying, yep, that's what it is, right? So I, I could identify a squirrel if I'm out looking for squirrels and I see a squirrel um, going up a tree, I could say, hey, that's a squirrel. I have identified it as a squirrel, okay? So when you identify something, you name it, you say, yep, that's what it is, right? So we're gonna name shapes that are divided into halves. Something that's divided is torn up, okay, or broken into parts. So here's a piece of paper, okay? If I was going to divide it, I would be breaking it into parts, just like that. So we are going to be naming shapes that have been divided or broken up into halves. Let's go on and find out what a half is in case you don't know. So here's a delicious cookie, and I come to your house with this big warm cookie, and you say to me, Miss Carlson, can I have some? Can you break that or divide that up for us? And I say, Okay, I'll divide it up and give you some. So I give you this piece here, and I get this piece here. Did we get the same amount of cookie? Yes or no? What do you think? 
No. Who got more cookie? You or me? Let's pause. Yes, I got a lot more cookie. That's not equal. It's not the same. All right, so let's look at a different way. Okay, so this time you get this piece of the cookie and I get this piece of the cookie. Is that fair? Did I give you the same amount of cookie as I got? Look at it. Yes, we got the same, or nope, we didn't get the same. Right, no. Look, friends, I got more than you. All right, I'll try again. There we go. This time, I get this part of the cookie, and you get that part of the cookie. Is that fair? Did we get equal amounts? or equal shares? Did I share equally with you? Yes or no? Yes, I gave you an equal amount of the cookie. You have part and I have part and the two parts are the same size. That's fair. So if each of us would get exactly the same, your part is called one half, and my part is called one half, okay? So like this circle that's divided into two equal parts, each part is called one half, or we could call it a half. When we write one half, we write a one, and then we put a line across, and then we put the two under the line. This number says one half. Can you all say one half? Yeah, I think I heard you say one half. So halves have to be made into equal shares by cutting the whole thing into parts that are the same size. When the parts are not the same size, the shares are unequal. So this one here is equal, and this cupcake here is unequal. They have to be what? The same what? Let's pause. Good, they have to be the same size. So when dividing something into equal halves, again, we have to have, if it's gonna be a half, it has to be two parts, one, two, just like my cookie that I divided with you, and those parts have to be the same size. So it has to be two parts, one, two, and they have to be the same size. Is this two parts? Yes. Are these the same size? Yep. So we're gonna play yes or no. Is this rectangle divided into halves? Are there two parts? And are the two parts the same size? Is it divided right? Yes or no? Okay, good, I see most of you saying no. These two parts are not equal sizes. What about this one? Is this rectangle divided into equal halves? Is it two parts? And are the parts the same size? Yes or no? Yes, good job, that one is divided equally into halves. What about this triangle? Is it divided equally into halves? Yes or no? Okay, I'm gonna pause and ask somebody, why not? Let's pause. Good, the reason it's not um, divided into halves is that they're not equal sizes. This size is a lot bigger than that size or that piece. What about this triangle? Is this one divided into equal parts? Yes, good. What about this heart? Is this heart divided into halves? No, why not? Let me pause. Good, because they're not 
equal shares or equal parts. Is that one equal? It sure is. Yes, it is. Good. What about this one? This is a tricky one now. Is this rectangle divided into halves? Two equal parts? Yes or no? I don't see everybody's thumbs. It's a tricky one. Yeah, the answer is no. It's not divided into halves. Does anyone know why not? Let's pause and talk. Okay, it was not divided into halves because halves means two parts, and this one has one, two, three, four parts. So we would need this divided into two parts in order for it to be halves. Remember, halves, a half is written as one half. This two means two parts, not four parts. Okay, what about this one? Is this one divided equally into halves? Yes or no? Yes, very good. So now you're going to get a chance to practice on your own with our learning target that says, I can identify shapes that are divided into halves. So you're going to be looking at a group of shapes and you're going to have to uh, take the ones out. You're going to actually sort them out into the ones that are divided into halves and the ones that are not. So you're going to be naming those ones that are. So let's again go and take a look. Okay, so we're going to go into Seesaw. Go into your activities like we've been doing. When you get in, you're going to see an activity called Math Sorting Halves and Not Halves. You're going to click on the instructions. Watch the video if you were not present in the Zoom lesson today. Click on the green Add Response button. Use your hand tool to sort the shapes into halves and not halves. Click, Click on the green, green check, check when you're all done. done. Okay, so let's go ahead and click that Add Response button. All right, so here's our activity. We have this group here called the halves and this group here called the not halves. Okay, so if it was a thumbs up, like we did in the video, it's going to go in this group here. And if it's not a have, it was a thumbs down, it's going to go in this group here. Remember, you're going to use your hand tool and these pieces move. You're going to move them into yes, it is a half, and no, it's not a half. Remember, halves have to have only two pieces. And those pieces have to be the same size or equal shares. Okay. When you're done, make sure you look your work over and that you have um, done your very best job and then click your green check and you are done. So go ahead and get started.